Now, I have left the question just like that. And though it is not asked, we are trying to find out. This was, this was, this was below the cable. Okay, below the cable. The field that we found out right now was below the cable. Now I'll try to find out the same thing, the field, though it is not asked. We are doing it for our own sake. I'd, I'd, I'd like to find out the field above the cable. Fine? So, so I'm erasing this. I write above the cable. Fine. Now, above the cable, by right hand rule, the field is into the, into the board. So that is the first thing. The field due to cables 4 centimeter, 4 centimeter above is equal to the, the magnitude remains the same, right? Because R remains the same and I remains the same. So everything remains the same. This is, this becomes into the board. Is it not? Now what happens? Therefore, net horizontal component, since my, since my horizontal component here is also into the board, and here this point 2G is also into the board, so they'll get added up. <coughs> and hence become 0.52 Gauss. <coughs> Understand? That is into the board. Fine. Now net vertical component still remains the same. So this becomes 0.52 squared. The changes from the last I am I'm doing in green. That's why I have left it in green. Now what a 0.22 square is the same. 0.52 square is what? 0.52 square. So that is 0.2704. Point two seven zero four. Fine. And this this plus point zero four eight four gives me point three one eight eight and root of that is point six point five six four. So this is equal to 0.56 Gauss. Fine. So the net is 0.56 Gauss. Now try to think. So the horizontal component is now this big and my vertical component becomes only 0.22. In earlier case what was happening? My horizontal component was, was small 0 0.12 and my vertical below below the cable my vertical component had gone like that so angle came out to be some 61 degrees right now here what happens the horizontal com component becomes very big compared to this this remains point, point 0.22 <coughs> this remains point 0.22 while this becomes point 0.52 so you understand so 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 this is the triangle that it is forming so the angle that that will be there that becomes point the vertical 0.22 divided by the horizontal. Now 0.22 upon 0.52 is 11 upon 26. You see, from 11 upon 6, it went to 11 upon 26. Almost four times it has reduced. So, so, so I'll find tan inverse 11 divided by 26. The answer comes out to be 22.93. So that is, so, so this is 11 upon 26 and that becomes 23 degree with the horizontal. We get the point. And whenever you are given things like this, even when they don't ask, they ask you the resultant. Since magnetic field is a vector, you also have to tell the orientation, otherwise you are not defining it completely. We understand. So this thing has to be kept in mind. And that translation from 
the horizontal. You have to think in horizontals. You have to draw in, in, say, for my case, on the board, verticals. In your copy, again, it becomes horizontal. So maybe you can just lift it off your copy. Okay, but you have to think like that. Maybe you find yourself in a room. Then, 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 uh, I don't say write on the walls, but understand which wall represents what, and then start doing it. It it'll, it becomes very simple to solve. Okay, so that 3D understanding has to come in if you want to want to solve this correctly. Huh?